Hello, hello, hello YouTube! I am here to give you a tutorial on this hairstyle. So here's a quick preview of what you'll see if you continue to watch this video. It's Denise. I'm so happy to see you today. Ah, I know it's been a very long time since I've done a video and I'm not gonna go through that spiel, but I'm here to say hello, and I'm also here to give you a hair tutorial video. Um, I've been asked to do a, a specific uh, tutorial on an updo. I call it the Roll Tuck Pin Puff. Okay, so um, it's a really simple style. It's a style that could be worn for um, formal occasions, casual occasions, you could dress it up, dress it down, and really, really simple. When it comes together, it looks more complicated than it really is, and I'm here to show you how easy it is, and you can do it too. Okay, so let me just get started. I had my hair in twists because I was preparing to wash my hair, and then as I began to go through that process, I was thinking, oh, I might as well do that video that um, I've been asked about. So I'm like, let's, I decided, hey, let's go ahead and do that. So here I am. So I'm just gonna take my hair down, make sure I don't have any pins in there. The style that I'm about to do, I did it uh, last week, and I had it in for about six to seven days, probably seven days, and so it was a good protective style. And, um, Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh, um, it's been, I don't know, months and months and months since I've been on YouTube. And since then, I have um, done some things to my hair. I actually had a cut, but yes, I don't want to take too long with talking. I want to get into the style. So I just pretty much separated the hair, make sure, you know, try to fluff out the roots to make sure it's not kinked too much in the roots, make sure it's stretched as much as possible. There we go. And now that my hair is out, I could begin with the puff piece. Right now my hair is all over the place, but anyways, let's go with the puff. All right, so I'm going to just spray down the edges of my hair because I wanna make sure that they are smooth for when I put the puff in. So I just have a spray bottle in my hand. It's just a bottle that I had other products in before, but um, the product was finished and I loved the way this bottle missed, um, misted the water, so I decided to keep it. Okay, so I'm going to use a brush. Um, you might have a boar bristle brush, and I'm just gonna get the edges. Get the edges smooth. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm going to add some gel to the edges to make sure that um, the edges are laid, honey. Make sure that they're laid. <laughs> I'm being silly. Anyways, um, so the gel that I have is Eco Styler Gel. So you can use whatever gel you like, um, whatever works for you. Um, so this is pretty much what I'm going to use and then see if I need a little bit more. And if I do, I'll just add some more. So we've got the edges, make sure the edges are smooth. The product is in there. If you see me looking elsewhere, I'm looking at the mirror that's right above um, the uh, camera. Okay. So again, I go with the brush. I don't go too hard, so I want to make sure my my um, the sensitive my sensitive edges stay intact. Okay, and so now my hair is ready for the puff. So um, in order to do the puff, what I use is a stocking foot or a stocking leg. So here we go. So I start at the back. and I bring the ties to the front and then I proceed to push back. I'd like to have my puff close to the top so I'll make sure to push the back up more than I do the front. And I like how where it is right now so I will just tie 
the stocking at the back. There we go. So right now, this could be a style on its own. I could just puff up the hair and, you know, make sure it's voluminous and it could be a style on its own. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep going. So now I'm going to start creating the roll tuck pin portion of the hairstyle. So I'm going to use hairpins. I keep it in this little container and you could keep it into whatever container you prefer, but I'm, I tend to lose them so um, I like to keep it together. So let me get them all out. I use a lot so be prepared to see me using a lot of pins. Okay, so. Now I'll just start at the front because it might be a little bit easier and then get a little closer. And what I do is I take a piece of hair, so probably this amount, and I roll it around my finger and then I tuck it in and then I pin it. That's why I call it the roll tuck pin up. There we go. So that's the first roll. So then I just continue to do that all around. So I just want to let you know you don't have to do it all um, rolling down. You can have it rolling to the side, rolling up, rolling, you know, in whatever way to make the style, um, you know, more, have more personality. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. I want to make sure the edges were super laid so what I did was I went I get, went ahead and um, sprayed the edges brushed it a little bit I want to make sure it's down I already had some gel in it before so let me just go ahead and continue and I used a, a head tie so and I tied around the edges to make sure it was as smooth as possible and I went ahead and tied it left it on for about 10 to 15 minutes continued to get ready and then um, and then I uh, took it off so this could be a style in itself so what do you think yes I think so <laughs> um, and yeah the, then after this um, you just pretty much take off this head tie and by then after 15 minutes or so it should be laid honey and um, yeah this is the final look so I think I'm gonna just change my earrings and voila okay here is the final look alrighty so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, don't forget to share. Share, share, share. Share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on Instagram, share everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, hopefully other people would um, learn from this video as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.